Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to yet another RF Golf X YouTube video. Guys, in today's video we're heading back out to the 1940 PGA Championship course, the Hurst Coast Club West Course. Absolutely incredible day out there. What we're going to be doing is a best ball scramble challenge. I was inspired to do this. I was I was inspired to do this by the Brian Bros Worst Ball Challenge. So when I was out in the course, I wasn't thinking about filming, and then I had the idea because I was playing pretty well to do a best ball challenge and see if I can go under par for the final four holes, holes 15 through 18. We got two par fives, a par three, and a par four. So you can call it best ball, you can call it scramble. Today I'm gonna title the video as best ball. So what it is is you play two balls from every single shot and whichever one you like the best, whichever one you prefer, you then play from that shot. You do that for every shot, every single hole. And guys, this is just me today. This isn't like me and Jesse or me and Grant combining. It's just all me playing two shots from every single shot, seeing if I can go under par. Let me just tell you, I'm recording this intro now because I forgot to do it at the course. But let me tell you guys, it was some of the best golf I've ever played. This is going to be an awesome video. Let's go get it. Hole number one, par five. 15th hole, Hershey Country Club, 520 yards, par five. Let's get it. I'm not even going to hit a second ball after that one. That was crunched. All right, we hit an absolutely mash drive there. You see the 156 right there, the green's up there. Green is just over 200 yards away, I believe. I don't think I can get five wood there because there's a huge gully between the 150 stick and the green, a giant gully. I think we'll play one shot with an iron just to get us within 100 yards of the green, and then we'll play one to see how close we can get to the green. Okay, I pumped that five iron we gotta switch to the five wood now, see how close we can get to the green. We hit the green! No way! 20 feet away from the pin. Let's go! Eagle putt! Guys, I don't think you understand. This is the first eagle putt I've ever had in my life. Oh my god. So guys, we were hitting from way up there. You can see here's the gully I was talking about. And right here is our five iron ball. And then as you walk up to the green, you can see we have our eagle putt. Let me show you the divot here. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. So here we go, got the divot right there. Ball just rolled out over here along this slope. We have what looks like just about 12, 15 feet for eagle. Very first eagle putt. I've ever had in my life. We got two putts at it. Let's get it. No way! Eagle! Eagle on hole number one! <laughs> one drive, five wood from the fairway, and made the putt first try. Eagle two under through one. Oh my god. You can see how excited I am. This is not staged. All right, we got to move on to the next hole here. 16th hole, yet another par five. We got back to back par fives here. Then we go on to a par three and then a tricky par four to finish. Let's get it. All right, so correction sorry, the last hole was 490 yards, not 520. I was looking at the tips, not the tees that I'm playing from, the men's here. But anyway, we got 16th hole, par five. This one is exactly. 500 yards it says in the scorecard you see down there there's a big ridge so the goal is to carry it over that ridge so that we don't get stuck on the bottom of it two under through one with my very first ever eagle it wasn't a stroke play eagle but it was an eagle all right let's get it First one's just barely on top of the ridge. Now we're gonna send it. We're gonna be going with the first one there. All right, so as you can see, we had another pretty good drive there, down there, over the ridge, and just came out to right here. We are about 250 out from the green, and there's another big hill that runs up there, so we're not gonna be able to get it there with the five wood. I'm just gonna play short right there just past the 150 get myself an approach badge 100 yards in all 
right, that's in a perfect spot there. All right, so I hit both of those in pretty good spots right up here, but the five wood just ended up on that incline of the rough and the six iron's just short of the rough over here on the edge of the fairway. So I need to decide, do I play from the fairway and have just about a 110 shot to the green or do I play from the awkward uphill lie and have a 80 yards? I think because I don't want to risk it, I'm just going to play from the ball in the fairway right here, give myself about 110, probably an approach wedge. I just went up and grabbed the five wood ball. It's way flatter up there than I thought it was. I should have played that, but we already chose this one. Clubbing up now to a fishing wedge instead of the approach. Oh, be good. That was right, literally right at the pin. Let's go check where it went. Ladies and gentlemen, our first ball ended up right there. And we dropped a dime on the second one, just about four or five feet away, for birdie. <laughs> two under, through two. That should have been a birdie. Putting a stroke did not feel good there. All right, folks, we're on the 17th hole here, Hershey Country Club, par three, 156 yards. See the greens way up there. I actually, this hole is the closest I've ever come to hitting a hole in one. If you're talking about distance away from the hole, I played this like a little low chunk and run that ended up two and a half feet away. But just yesterday on the fifth hole here, another amazing par three on this awesome course, my ball one hopped and hit the middle of the pin and bounced off to four feet. So we're closing in on that hole in one. We made that eagle back on hole number 15 there. Simple par there back on 16, got a birdie this one. Going with a smooth six iron here. We played a perfect high draw there, started it right over here, let the wind take it down there. I threw up some grass and felt that the wind was moving over this way, so I knew if I played it at the right side of the green, hit a pretty straight shot, the wind would take it over. And because of the slope of this green, that thing rode all the way down from right to left. You can see it's just a little bit long there. But from my angle, I thought that was going to go in. Even though we didn't make birdie there, and we didn't make birdie on 16, we are playing some very good golf right now, because that eagle on hole 15. Let's keep it up, final hole, 405 yards, par four, dog leg right, bomb and driver. So the best way to play this par four is to go right over these trees from the tee box back there. And that's exactly what I did. I have one ball that looks like it's just about level with the 150 and one that's just about five yards short. Absolutely pumped both of those. Probably my two best drives of the day right there. Let's finish out strong, see if we can get a birdie on this tough par four. Here we are, as you can see, we, we got one ball right here. And then we got the 150 stick right there. And our second golf ball is right here just in the first cut but I'm choosing this one because it's a little bit farther up and the bunkers were more in play on that last shot here we have more of a direct shot to the pin not a very good strike there the bunker on the right oh no 
smell like chunk food. Shit. Shit. Both shots in the bunker. Very disappointing there. Uh, I blocked that first one out to the right. And then the second one, put my weight on my back foot and just chunked it a little bit. Still, gotta get these up and down for a par. But it looks like our second shot is, fr is a fried egg right there. So I think I'm gonna be have to go with the longer bunker shot. You know what, I think I am. We got our second shot here. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I think we are gonna go with this just because we have a lot of room to the pin. It's not like it's a very short bunker shot. So we're gonna go with this one instead of the one that was all the way across the bunker. guys that is it from Hershey Country Club today unfortunate that we started with that eagle which was so awesome first ever eagle that I've made on the channel I think that anyone's made on the channel yet very unfortunate though that we weren't able to make that short birdie putt on hole 16 that was a tough putt that was completely my fault did not put a good stroke on either of those and then you know after that 15th hole when we made the eagle the short game kind of went silent as you see it failed me there on 18 didn't do so well on 17 or 16 either but you know what we still finished under par one under four holes best ball honestly that was some of the best golf I think I've ever played especially on camera that's definitely the best I've ever played on camera the long game today like the driver and the five wood and the irons are so pure in this video I mean I I, I, I literally only missed hit one iron shot and that was the approach wedge on 16 and that was just because it was the wrong club but anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this best ball challenge because I sure did. If you have any other challenge ideas or video ideas or course vlogs or anything like that that you want me to do with the channel and make videos out of, please leave a suggestion in the comments below or message me on Instagram. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all staying very, very safe and very, very healthy out there just like we are here practicing social distancing. And guys, until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.